What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's talk about it, good peoples. Let's talk about the Kanye West. He brings this Sunday service to Chicago. Yo, Chicago, stand up. Kanye West is back. Man, people were there to see Chance. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm, I'm look, I'm, <laughs> I, I got to say this, man. This guy is really good for marketing. This was nothing but an outdoor festival concert given by Kanye West that people pay money to go there to see. Now, I don't like when people play with God. You know, and you already got these cotton candy preachers running around here pretending like they're doing something for God and taking your money. And when you see your favorite rappers doing it too, you got pimps out here going into the pool pit. They realize that's the new game. Let's, let's pimp the congregation. Now you got rappers saying oh you know what's up let's let's go ahead and give it to god <laughs> so that's the new hustle that's what the new thing is now pimping religion so they said what's wrong with him praising god first off he's not anointed one who anointed him so that he could have Sunday service and lead Sunday service? He tries, he has a Jesus complex. He sits there and believes, oh, I need to be doing this. This is what I need to be doing. I want to, and he thinks, he thinks he's Moses or somebody. I'm like, this guy thinks he's Moses or Jesus. Today he's, this is my city. Watch this. Part to see. Man, I was just one dude out there that popped him upside his head. So he's talking about move to the side. We coming through. And I'm done with Kanye West. Kanye West is somebody that is either somebody i deal with on one end of music and uh, he's a talented person mu musically fashion is not up to me so i don't really wear wear yeezys i have no desire to wear that stuff so that is out my wheelhouse but for other people out there that might find it interesting I get it. Y'all might like it. Y'all want to hear Yeezy. But my thing is, when you drag your children, you drag your wife, you drag her family involved in this, and make it a scam more than something real, and it's something political, then I have a problem with it. Now, when I saw Chance there, I said, okay, I get it. Chance is going to help you get the people back. Then we're going to come with the Jesus is King CD. Everybody want to make that, 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 that one, I'm going to give it up for God, and then I'm going to go back to my BS. And today... Well, I, I gave it up to God on the CD. Now I'm back. That's no different than Jeezy coming out with the Preacher Man CD than going back to the trap. Yeah, his weekly gossip worship service Sunday went to his rainy day in Chicago where he's doing an ultra beam light or whatever. I don't know. Will I be buying a Kanye West Jesus is King album? Hell no! And I don't mean to put hell in front of it, but no. 
So heaven knows I will not be buying that out. Okay. Now, when he was in Dayton, Ohio, and then he went to Coachella, he brought it out there, right? Brought the thing to Coachella. Same thing, right? This is all promotion for the new album. This is his new movement. He worked his way through this. He had some campsite doing his Coachella set where he did this song called Water. Well, let's see how long this lasts after the CD flops. Now, if the CD flops and he's still staying on this whole Sunday service thing, he might then found himself and might say, hey, I was lost. This is what found me. I need to be here, and I'm all in. Okay. We'll see it when we believe it. But other than that, you know, I don't really see any changes. I don't see anything that's really going on. Well, I see one guy that's... Kanye is happy when he got a bunch of people around him. When he has a bunch of people around him, he's ecstatic because it's about him. He was in the White House to meet Trump. He was ecstatic because he had all them cameras there. He had all the cameras on him. So it's all about yay. Right? Everything about him, that ego stands up. And now he get to have his moment. That's what it's about. It's an ego trip, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to see how many people going to fall for it. You know, I know my city. So I know, like I told you, you wave a bag in front of somebody's face, they on board. <laughs> the same people that have been hating on them Probably for 20-something, man, help this dude, help this dude. He come around, throw a bag. Yo, man, hey, he all right? No, he all right, man, no. We got to get a brother up. So I already know how people move. <laughs> you can't wave a bag in front of me and say, hey, I judge them off what they do and what they don't do and what I think something is. Until I see somebody telling me, hey, this thing looks legit or this and that, no, it's, I just see it for what it is. And I'm sorry I'm that way. I was just born and bred to be a realist. Somebody who definitely looks at a situation and goes, well, this is what it looks like to me. So that's all Carcino for Life channel is, is a, this is what it looks like to me. Now, you might not agree. That's cool. There's a lot of people that didn't agree. A lot of people didn't agree with Jesus. A lot of people didn't agree with nobody. It's cool. But a lot of people may agree. Saying, yeah, you know what? I think this is a little self-serving. And that's why I think. I believe Chance is a politician. He does do things for the community. But I do believe it has a, a slant to it. His father's a big politician here, and they play politics a lot. His whole success ride was built off political positioning. But he did put his money where his mouth is and try to actually do something here in the city. So... I always gave him credit for that. What I don't do 
is really blast people when I believe they're actually trying to help. Chance has done things that could actually help people. I think Kanye at some point really do want to help people, but not as much as he wants to get the rewards of being selfly gratified. He needs to have people cheering his name. Now, if he had Sunday service where he just sat his butt down and just sung with everybody else, no, he got to be the centerpiece. He got to be that focal point. It's got to be about him. So at the end of the day, it's just another Kanye West concert that he named Sunday Service and put it out on the world to see on that stage. That's what it's called. That is all it is, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Let me call somebody who's an actual pastor. Let's see. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Oh. Okay. Now, Kanye West was in town today with Chance the Rapper. They just did a Sunday service. You know this little thing he do every Sunday where he performs his songs and he calls it service. Yeah, they just had it downtown. My cousin went down there as well. You know, they you know, they love a good show. But to me, I need a question answered. Can this man hold a Sunday service and he's not been ordained? Um, can he hold a service without being ordained? Um, Cause no one ordained or blessed him to be a a member. government made it now where you can go online for a 30 hour class and you can become ordained through the government. Oh, so wow. The, so the government is the state, the local and state government is handing out um, ordinations if you uh, do this little 20 hour class, 30 hour class and pass it. They're just giving them out like candy. Is that what you did? Exactly. Yeah, mine, mine, mine has to go to the church. And you got to stand before the elders, and they drill you for a couple hours. You got to know the scriptures. You got to know baptism. You got to know beauty. You got to know what. You got to go through a whole process, and it ain't easy. And each elder just to ask you the questions, and, and you got to answer, and you got to. And then after all that said and done, then they got to go before God in prayer. And then they have to have meetings, and they got to go through this whole ordeal just for you to get ordained through the church. Exactly. The government, the, gov the government says, no, just take this little 20-hour class, pass the written test, and we'll give you your minister of ordination. Unbelievable. You know why, right? Well, why? The more people that they can ordain and let them open up a little mom-and-pop shop, the little church, all the money they bring in, that they get, they get taxes on it. They get a cut of it. Oh wow! That these forms where every church, no matter how big or how small, you can have, you can have three members, you can have ten thousand members. All income and money has to be reported and turned into the government. And they get taxed. So the government is like, hey, if we can get on this scheme. Here, here's your ordination. Here's your ordination. Here's your ordination. You bought in twenty thousand this week. All right, we get five thousand of it. Keep giving them out. The more churches, the better. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. But if you go through the biblical way, 
where you got to go before the elders and the apostles and the deacons and the bishops and the overseers. And, you know, that's how they picked uh, Matthias and the others. Uh, the Bible says over in Acts chapter 6, he said, the apostles can't be everywhere. We need people besides the apostles, the, the elders, to go and preach and do other things. And he said, pick out seven men of report, full of the Holy Ghost and full of wisdom and those dispensers that we may appoint over this business. And then when they, and when they hold the hearings to pick out the people, the people got to go before the elders and the bishops and the deacons and you got to go through vigorous, vigorous um, questioning and tests and knowing the scripture. You got to know the, you got to know the scripture. You got to know baptism. You got to know weddings. You got to know the, the communion. You got to know, you got to know the scripture forward and backwards. I mean, it's just not easy if you, if you do it the right way through the church. And they just, and he, and I mean, it takes a while. You just can't pop up saying, hey, I want to be a minister. First of all, you got to, first of all, if you could be a minister, you, you sit, man, you sit probably a couple of years underneath, um, underneath the pastors and bishops and all that. I mean, they got to see how well you interact with the people, how courteous you are. Do you know this person when people come to you for, for, for questions? Are you a praying man? You know, do you have your household? They're big on that. Is your household in order? Are you married with children? How well does your wife and your children respect you? Because the Bible says if you can't have your own household in order, you surely can't be over the household of God. So being a man and, and being a ruler of your own household and they're in submission to you, they watch your kids, they see how your kids talk back to you, they watch your wife, they see how your wife talk back to you, and they watch the kids and the wife to see how they interact with other members of the church. Are they quick to anger? Are they quick to get upset? Are they short-tempered? Are they judgmental? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that goes behind that. I mean, they take that seriously. And then after all that, and then he said, "All right, now we're gonna, well, now we're gonna test you about the scriptures and see if you really know these scriptures front, back, left, right. Do you know what you're talking about? Because if we give you a church or a small congregation, we got to know that you can handle it with with no issues." Exactly. And do you think Kanye West has done any of this? No way. He took a little twenty minute they take they go to the state, fill out the forms and say, Hey, we wanna take this organization test, they give them this little testing, they study they study this little hand it's almost like a driver license book. They study the, like a little driver license minister's book and you study most of the answers, then you go take your test and they said, All right, you've been ordained by the state of Illinois. You're a minister and you can you can hold your service and marry people. There you go. Here's your here's your license. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So, so going back to your question, do I think Kanye got ordained through the bishops, deacons, elders, like he did in the Bible? No. Do I think he went to the state of Illinois and he took a test and got licensed to be ordained? Yeah. Wow, that's just ridiculous. Do you think his house is in order? Oh, heck no. <laughs> heck no. <laughs> you know what? I believe Kanye West, I believe Kanye West, is a, being, being that he's ordained through the state, through the local government, I believe if Kim Kardashian brought her gay friends, hey, Mary and Jessica want to get married, they want you to marry them. All right. We're going to have a gay wedding. Listen, now I get a man. I'm ordained. Let me read out of the books. Did you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Did you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? All right, you may kiss the bride. Yep. And I mean, that's they what they're doing hell. now because they made it they, the law. They, they going to hell, man. Yeah. Well, that's the yeah. that's the law. They. I think yeah. it depends on the state law. Is it in all the states yet? I don't think all 50 states... Agreed to it. Well, here's the, here's the thing, Kev. The Bible says, would I rather obey man or should I obey God? Even if you live in a state that says it's legally okay for you to marry them, if you do that and you die and you go before God, you're in trouble. 
you, you, you ain't gonna sit there and tell God, well, the local government said, I can marry if you gay people, God. I don't care what your Bible says. If the if the law says I can do it, I can do it. Then God's gonna be like, depart from me, you work of iniquity. I never did. Wow. That's deep. That is deep. <laughs> 